Well, it was another gloomy day, but some beautiful fall weather is right around the corner. Kate is here with the full forecast. Hi, Kate. Hi there, Jessica. Yeah, what a beautiful Wednesday we have in store right around the corner. If this was in a yearbook, it would be awarded most perfect fall day. Temperatures in the low 70s, low humidity, not much of a breeze, just a great day to get outside. It's clear outside tonight. We dried out today, but the clouds just did not want to break. They got close. Some folks may have seen the sun just dropping below that cloud line. Now we've got clear skies outside and temperatures are on their way down. 54 in Redding right now. It's down to 50 in Allentown, already 40s in Mount Pocono and 58 degrees in Philadelphia. But notice clear skies, moonlit skies tonight. It's a crest Moon, but if you see it, it looks good. Starlit sky out there tonight, and a beautiful, dry, sunny day for tomorrow. Storm Scan 3 shows clear conditions locally. Even as we widen out, any lingering remnants of Delta are now a thing of the past. Cold front swept through earlier today and brought any lingering moisture, fog, drizzle well out to sea. So now we're looking at some pretty great weather, at least until our next cold front approaches, and that happens on Friday. So let's take a look at what to expect tomorrow. It's a full day of sunshine. It's one of those perfect days where it starts off crisp and cool, and you need a jacket or a sweater in the morning, but then dress in layers because short sleeves in the afternoon should work. Maybe bring the Zoom meetings out on the deck tomorrow if you're working from home. 71 degrees, sunny and mild. Just a perfect, beautiful fall day. Winds start out northwesterly. They'll become more westerly in the afternoon. Afternoon. That's a nice dry flow for us. As our next cold front approaches, temperatures will surge. So Thursday is a warm day. You can see the yellows and oranges there. We're going to surge into the mid 70s. That front comes through Friday, and we'll see periods of rain throughout the day Friday on and off into Friday night. Then that front clears for the weekend, and a big cool Canadian high is going to settle in, bringing in much cooler air with highs not making it past the 50s. On, Sunday, on Saturday, but at least the sun will return. So timing this all out, tomorrow again is a dry day, lots of sunshine throughout the day. Same story Thursday. Thursday stays dry. You can see winds become more southerly, and that's going to help us warm up. Thursday is also going to start with some fog. Then here comes this front. It's going to settle overhead Friday. A few showers around in the morning. Best chance for steadier rain comes in in the afternoon. This is 115, and it continues right into Friday night. And then dew points plummet, temperatures plummet as well. Once we get that front to clear, it's going to turn much drier and much cooler for the weekend. So a couple days of warm weather. Tomorrow looks great. Thursday, morning fog, then sun, another nice day at 74. Friday morning showers, then periods of rain mainly in the afternoon. We'll clear it out. It's a chilly Saturday and a cold Sunday morning. Many spots will start in the 30s, so we could have some frost. Sunday 64, and then we warm back up to more seasonable temperatures early next week. Jessica, back over to you. All right, Kate, thank you. Peggy.